In this video, I'll introduce you to the PW313 CAM engine and demonstrate how to set it up and how to use it. The first step is to connect the Livestreamer CAM313 to your computer using any of the available USB ports. You will then need to download and install the CAM engine software from the Aver Media website. On the Livestreamer CAM's product page, choose Downloads and then click Utility to get to the latest version of the CAM engine. Once you have downloaded and installed the CAM engine, you will access it from the device settings on your favorite streaming software. In this example, we'll use Streamlabs OBS. We'll start by adding the Livestreamer CAM 313 as a video source. To start using the CAM engine, choose that option from the device menu. Once you've selected it, you can click on Configure Video to open the CAM engine. The first thing I'll show you how to do is to navigate to the Effect tab. Start by downloading all of the different available face effects. Once the different face effects are downloaded, simply click to choose the one that you want. The face effects use AI face tracking technology and will follow your face around as you move. There is also a filter tab where you can enable features like skin smoothing and adjust your overall skin tone. Finally, on the video tab, you can adjust your camera settings such as brightness, contrast, hue, and so on. With the AverMedia Cam Engine, you can create better content with the flexibility and familiarity of your favorite streaming software. Hi, I'm Ziva Nissan, Head of Product Management for Video Collaboration at Logitech, and I'm here today to introduce you to the best webcam ever to hit the market, Logitech Brio. Technologies and use cases surrounding video streaming have grown at an astronomic pace. Logitech Brio provides television-like image quality with your 4K display, as well as the greatest image quality in 1080p Full HD and 720p HD at up to 60 frames per second. Coupled with a very smooth 5x zoom, Brio lets you focus in on and move around your scene flawlessly. Logitech's Right Light 3 with HDR makes Brio the first webcam to adjust to both low light and high or natural sunlight. Brio also includes an infrared sensor and LED for the most reliable and speedy facial recognition login using Windows Hello or other software. Logitech Brio ships with a convenient carrying case and supports USB 2, 3, and is Type-C compatible. The camera settings application is available for both PC and Mac from the Logitech website. As the number one webcam manufacturer in the world who designs and develops superior optical technology from the ground up, Logitech brings you the highest quality, feature-rich video experience to date. Hello and welcome. My name is Joe Capehart and I'm the technical specialist here at Mevo. And I'm super excited to talk to you and announce our newest product, the Mevo Start. Now, there are a few iconic features that make the Mevo special. The Mevo has a digital interface that allows you to do live editing. You can zoom in, you can do cuts, pans, go wide. You can do a bunch of different things digitally. You can also add and make it sound like you have or seem like you have multiple different cameras. However, you're really only using one device. You can live stream to multiple different platforms and go straight to things like Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Vimeo, Livestream. Now, if you don't wanna to go to those platforms and the platform you do wanna to go to offers RTMP, you can also go there. Let's go ahead and get into the box and see what we've got. So we've got the Mevo Start, 
get into that later. So we've got this little package here. Looks like we've got a quick start guide and a microfiber cloth. Then we have a 10 foot USB-C to USB-A cable. Let's, let's get into the start. So for comparison's sake, I have a Mevo Plus and a Mevo Boost right here. Right away, you're gonna notice the significant difference in design and form factor. The Mevo Start is a little bit skinnier. Now, the Mevo Plus has about a one hour battery life by itself. But if you attach it to its accessory, the Mevo Boost, you're expected to get roughly nine hours. As you can see, this is rather large. Now the start being less than half of the size of this is still expected to get up to six hours of battery life, which is huge. Other than that, you also have a sensor and a lens difference. So the Mevo start has a 84 degree field of view lens and a 1080p capable sensor. Whereas the Mevo plus has the 4k sensor and a 150 degree view lens. This is a more narrow lens, but you're still gonna get that really wide feel, the real wide shot. You can have it, you know, within a few feet of yourself and you're still gonna get everything. And then the 1080p sensor still gives, or is actually giving a better low light performance, which is fantastic. Now, with this lens, although 84 degrees, you still are getting that wide shot I was talking about, you're not getting a fisheye effect. If you actually look at the set next to me or beside me, you'll notice that with the lights and the shelves, still really crisp straight lines. All right, so we talked about the lens and the sensor. Let's talk about the next big change. So on the top of our Mevo Start, we've got three internal microphones. And thanks to our friends at Fraunhofer, they've provided advanced audio processing that you're actually listening to right now. That's right, this entire video, we're shooting with internal audio from Amiibo Start. And since we just talked about the lens, you're actually seeing the Amiibo Start. Majority of this video is all shot with the Start. Now, if you don't wanna use the internal audio, we also provide on the back a 3.5 millimeter audio input. So that means you can attach things like a lavalier mic, a shotgun mic, or if you already have an existing soundboard or mixer, you can plug it directly in and you're good to go. Don't want to use those two options? We still have a third option with the Mevo Mic app. So our Mevo Mic app is a free app that you can download on any iOS or Android device, and it'll turn that device into a wireless microphone. All right, so we talked about our audio options. Let's go back to the front of the camera, and you'll notice that we have a LED RGB indicator light. So this indicator light's gonna do things like indicate the status of the camera, whether it's on, off, with the network status, if it's streaming, recording. And then on the back of the camera, we have more LEDs for the battery life. Directly below this, you'll see that we have a USB-C quick charging port. Now this quick charging port's gonna charge that larger battery. It's gonna charge it within zero to 80% in about an hour and a half. And below that, we have the micro SD card slot for class 10 micro SD cards, which is important because new at the Mevo Start, you get a full quality HD backup while you're simultaneously streaming. Now we talked about the form factor of the Mevo Start. It's small, so you can mount it in places so it doesn't impede your live audience's view. So to make this possible, we have a multi-threaded adapter on the bottom, which allows you to mount it on most standard tripods, camera stands, or microphone stands. So the Mevo Start has dual Wi-Fi antennas following the latest AC standard. That means whether you're connected to your mobile device, router, or modem, you can expect to have a strong connection. Now, if you don't want to use wireless, we also have this ethernet adapter. It's USB-C, so you can plug it directly into the back of the Mevo Start. This ethernet adapter is also PoE capable, which means that using the back, using just the ethernet, you can send both data and power straight to the Start. This allows you to mount your Mevo Start in odd locations that may not have a power outlet. New with the Mevo Start, we are now introducing NDI. This is important because so many tools and hardware is released directly integrated with NDI. So what does this mean for you? This means that the Mevo Start can be integrated and used with other software such as OBS, 
Or if you're a Vimeo customer, you can still use Livestream Studio. Or you can use another piece of software, another tool of your choice. So there's one more thing I wanted to talk about, multicam. Now, multicam is a combination of all the features Mebo has to offer, except now using one single app, you can add multiple Mevo and control and switch amongst them as if you had a traditional production setup. We expect to launch this later this summer.